Hey everybody, in today's topic, I'm going to show you how we can work with radio buttons in PHP. Let's get started. To begin, we'll need an HTML form. I'm pretty sure you know how to create that already. Within our HTML form, the action attribute will be set to our PHP file. The method will be post. To create a single radio button, we can use a self-closing input tag. Set the type equal to be radio. Let's select a credit card. I will set the first radio button to have a value of Visa. Here's our little radio button. I'll add some text afterwards. Let's say Visa. Then I will add a line break. Okay, let's copy these two lines of markup, paste these twice, then change the second radio button to be MasterCard, then the third will be American Express. So let's change these values. Here are three radio buttons, but we have a problem. We can select more than one radio button. If we would like these within the same group, we only ever should be able to select one at a time. We need a name attribute. Name equals, let's say credit card. Be sure to set this attribute for all of the three radio buttons. They all need the same name. There, we can only select one now. If these had a different name, such as credit card one, credit card two, credit card three, well, they're technically all in different groups. We need them all in the same group to select only one. Then lastly, let's add a submit button. Input type equals submit. The name may be confirm. It's a confirm button. We're confirming some payment type. For the value, I will set that to be confirm as well. Now when I click on this button, I would like to output a message depending on which radio button is selected. Let's test to see that everything's working fine though. I will create a local variable named credit card. I will set credit card equal to... Now to get one of these values, we need to use the post variable, whatever we set for the method. Access post. The key we are looking for is credit card. Whatever the name attribute is set to, the name of the group. Now when I run and reload this, we have an undefined array key credit card, which is to be expected. We're running our PHP script, but we have not yet set the credit card key. Let's enclose our code with an if statement. We'll check to see if our confirm button is pressed. Is it set? If it is, then assign our variable. If parentheses curly braces, we will use the is set function, which we learned about in the last topic. We would like to check to see if our confirm button is set. Let's access post. The key we are looking for is confirm, whatever the name is. If we press the button, then assign our variable of credit card. Then let's echo our credit card for testing purposes. Echo credit card. Let's see what happens. I'm going to press the confirm button. Then we get that warning, which is a step in the right direction. If I make a selection, then press confirm. We will echo whatever value is stored within our credit card variable. It's going to be one of these three values, either Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Before assigning the variable, I would like this warning to not display after pressing the confirm button. Instead, let's display a message. Please select a credit card or something. Let's create a nested if statement. We will use the isSet function again. This time, let's check to see if our credit card is set. If our credit card is set, then get the value and store it within a variable. Then for testing, let's echo that credit card. If our credit card is not set, we can execute an else statement. Else, let's echo, please make a selection. If I don't make a selection, then press confirm. 
we will echo this message, please make a selection. In order to continue, we need to make a selection. Let's select Visa. We will output Visa, MasterCard, then American Express. Currently, we have a variable credit card that has one of these three values. One thing you could do with this variable is check to see if it's equal to a certain value. I'm going to change my program around a little bit. If we press the confirm button and one of these radio buttons is selected, then assign our variable. Let's get rid of this echo. I'll add some if and else if statements. This is just for demonstration purposes. If our credit card is equal to Visa, then let's echo. You selected Visa. Let's add an else if statement. Else if credit card is equal to MasterCard, you selected MasterCard. Else if credit card is equal to American Express, you selected American Express. Then else Else, if credit card doesn't equal one of these three matches, then let's echo, please make a selection. All right, let's see what happens currently. If I make a selection, such as Visa, we will echo, you selected Visa, you selected MasterCard, you selected American Express. But currently, if I press the confirm button without making a selection, we have some warnings that our credit card variable is undefined. But we still execute the else clause, as you can see here. One change I'll make is that let's declare our variable credit card, but we won't assign it a value. Credit card equals null. Then we won't receive that warning that credit card is undefined. We have declared it. I'll press confirm. Please make a selection. I can select one of these credit cards and we will display a message. In this circumstance, I would probably use a switch. We're comparing some value against many matching cases. I think a switch would be more efficient. So let's create a switch for practice. Within our switch, we are examining our credit card. We will examine our credit card against matching cases. Visa, if our credit card is equal to Visa, then let's echo, you selected Visa. Then add a break statement to break out of the switch. Let's do this for MasterCard, add a case for MasterCard. MasterCard, you selected MasterCard. Then American Express. American Express. You selected American Express. Then a default case if there are no matching cases. Let's echo. Please make a selection. So if I press confirm, we will echo. Please make a selection. If I select Visa, you selected Visa, you selected MasterCard. You selected American Express. All right, everybody. So those are a few different ways in which you can work with radio buttons in PHP. To get the value of a given radio button group, you can use the post variable, then access that key, whatever the name is. Then you can assign the value to a local variable to work with. And you can do whatever you want with it. In this case, I just used a switch. And well, everybody, those are a few different ways in which you can work with radio buttons in PHP.